most of all, he is a very much appreciated protagonist of the European Council and a very much appreciated Prime, Min uh, Prime Minister by his colleagues in the European Council. Um, his uh, partners in the European Council have had many opportunities to test his skills, his capacities and his determination. And by the way, the Minister of Finance previously had uh, a similar experience in Eurogroup and the Ecofin Council. Um, Prime Minister Katainen is uh, uh, the Prime Minister of a government who is supported by a large and articulate majority in Parliament. If I remember correctly, six parties, which he was able to collect uh, in uh, spring uh, 2011 after a very uh, complex result at the elections. So he has quite an experience in governing supported by uh, an articulate majority of uh, political parties. I must say that um, in these uh, years, he has probably been one of the most prominent protagonist within the European Council and more generally in Europe in the several uh, measures and decisions that have been adopted by the European Union, by the Eurozone to react to the crisis. And I also have to say, in the light of my experience, my previous experience in Brussels, that not always the views of Finland and Italy have coincided. I remember distinctly one case that I'd like to quote, Prime Minister, if you allow me, this was during, I think if I remember correctly, the year 2011, probably spring or summer, uh, you from Helsinki insisted quite a lot in recommending us to issue covert sovereign bonds um, to, to alleviate the burden of excessively high yields on our sovereigns. And we were not in agreement with that position based on our own experience, so we had a a live exchange on that point. It was our assumption, as Prime Minister Monti remembers very well, that of course there were national responsibilities, but there were also systemic weaknesses and failures of the system at the origin of uh, excessively high spreads. But uh, apart from this parenthesis, uh, today's topic, which will be developed by Prime Minister, is. Uh, how to react again to the crisis and how to re-stimulate a Europe which should also be able to uh, provide uh, hopes, opportunities, and not only uh, rules, sanctions, and controls. And we've done a lot uh, to, to fix and to adjust the governance of the Euro, but there is a lot that remains to be done in particular to re-stimulate growth and provide opportunity for more employment in Europe. This is uh, now the subject that Prime Minister will develop. I leave him the floor. He has accepted uh, to answer some questions after his intervention. So, Prime Minister, the floor is yours. Thank, Thank you, you again. <clears throat>